And in this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can configure your recipient's workflow. Welcome back to Solusan's channel. My name is Sofian, and in case you haven't met me before, I'm the founder of Solusan Consulting, a digital transformation agency that helps businesses grow through efficiency. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how you can configure your recipient's workflow, including setting the right signing order, as well as understanding which action uh, you should assign to your recipients. Let's do it. And if you want to learn more about DocuSign, you can access the free DocuSign crash course that I've put together. Um, just click on the link in the description and you'll be able to enroll. It'll be delivered to you straight into your inbox. After you've created an envelope and added your documents, you will need to add your recipients by entering their first name followed by their last name and the email address. You can add as many recipients as you like. As the sender, I don't need to add myself as a recipient unless I am required to act on the document because I will automatically receive a copy of the completed document once all parties have completed their action. Next, I need to tell DocuSign which action I want my recipients to take on the document. There are many actions that you can assign to your recipients. The most common actions you can choose from are needs to sign, in-person signer, and receives a copy. If the recipients you're adding to the envelope needs to act on the document remotely, which means that they are not signing in your physical presence, then you need to assign them the action needs to sign. But if the recipient you're adding to the envelope just needs to receive a copy of the document once the envelope is completed by all signers, then you should assign them the option receives a copy. The recipients already added with the needs to sign action don't need to be added again with the receives a copy action because they will automatically receive a copy at the end of the signing process all the recipients that you will specify in your envelope will automatically receive a copy of the completed documents. If a recipient is signing in your physical presence, you can choose the in-person signer action. An in-person signer action is a signing experience that allows a known user of a DocuSign account who is in the physical presence of the intended signer of the envelope to host a signing session on their behalf. For example, the sales rep could be hosting the signing process on their iPad when visiting clients. If your envelope has more than one recipient, you can choose to set a signing order. The signing order lets you control the order in which your recipient will receive and sign your documents. If you don't add a signing order, then each recipient will receive the documents at the same time. Instead, you can set up a sequential signing order where each recipient receives the email notification once the previous recipient has completed their action. You can also have a mix of sequential and parallel signing order. Now, let's see how to add a signing order in DocuSign. In your envelope, after you've added your documents, um, you want to add the recipient. And to set the signing order, you just need to check the box set a signing order. You can add as many recipients as you want. And every time you're going to add a recipient, you will see these boxes appearing on the left hand side. These boxes relate to the order in which your recipient will be signing and receiving the documents. So in this example, I will be receiving the document first and Bob will be receiving the document second. But if I uncheck the box, then both Bob and I will be receiving the email notification from DocuSign at the same time. If there are a lot of recipients in your envelope, you can also use uh, these diagram to visually represent the signing order of the recipients. And this is how you configure your envelopes workflow. If you need more help with DocuSign, always remember that you can book a consultation with one of our DocuSign specialists to get you unstuck or answer any product related questions. I'll speak to you in the next lesson.